hello guys good morning and um happy easter to our christian brothers very briefly i'll be taking us through how to create entity relationship diagram on our ssms and i'll be taking cognizance of um, the adventure works um, data set or the script i'll be using it to do this demonstration so after doing it here i'll still take it to our our draw.io to also do the same demonstration so follow me as we learn together the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to open the adventure works lt which i've opened it then you see database diagrams you click on it then you right click then you have new database diagram now these are all our tables that is in this database now we have the address sales lt we need it to add it this version stuff is not part of it i don't need it so i will click on the other one then i'll add then i need i don't need okay i need this customer address lt i need it i also need the i don't need this this error log i need this um product sales lt i need it i need the product category i'll select it to add it then i'll just keep select because i know i need the rest yeah i need the rest i need this i also need this so since i've added all then i'll close so this is my relationship the relationship has been created but let me let me try and drag this up let me bring this closer um yeah let me bring this also closer let me see whether i have any other thing here let me see down okay let me just take this to the south to the side let me take that to the side i'm just trying to to rearrange it so that it will fit to the screen and then um, i have um someone here I have this let me take this up let me take this up i will also take this up let me still take it up a bit while i still take this up a bit let me come down and do justice to to this Let me take this up. I'm just trying to, to rearrange this so that I'll have it just one view. I'll be able to have this. Let me take this up. Yeah. Let me take this to the side. Let me take it up then to the side. Then I'll take this. Okay, sorry. Let me see, take this here. Then this young man, let me put it here. Okay. Then I'll take you up. Let me take you up also. Let me take you up to this point do I have anything under yeah I still have this I'm just trying to rearrange this so that it fits to to one screen okay it seems I still have um, let me shift this to this other side so that I will, I will bring this I will shift this also then I can see something here uh, 
that is this. I'm just rearranging it. Where am I? Why is it taking me back? It seems this one says some. Um, it will not reduce. Oh, let me just do it this way. Okay, it has worked already. So, I'll just take it here. Yeah, it has worked. Oh, will it will it be okay here? And let me see. I can still see this at one view. Where are you running to? So as it stands, we've been able to create our entity relationship diagram using this um, this. If we check very well, you can see this two table does the sales order head as sales LT is con as a relationship with the sales order details sales LT, which this is the what this is the primary key, which is the sales order ID. And this, and we have, we also have six other ID here, six other ID. So you can see this connects them together. This is a relationship between the two of them. Then if we check again, you can see that this table and this table are connected together. You can see the relationship between them. Also here, product and um, description. But the reason why this product description ID can actually have this um, connection. Let me see something. Connection with this is probably this um, product product um, model ID is the same thing as this and um, product description ID. Possibly that's why they have this same um, connection because the the header of the column or the name of the column does not matter is the the content in the column that matters so if the content in this product model id is the same thing as product description id then this is the relationship between them then if you check this we have the pro, pro sales and um, sales order details you have the sales order details let me shift this okay let me take this down sales order details also i've, I've done this before then we check this um sales order then it has a relationship with it um product id this product id here and this product id here but the relationship here is a foreign key yeah it's a foreign key here is a foreign key here so let me let me do something to confirm something let me open the tables let me open the table then let me see sales order id let me see sales sales order id no sales order detail sorry sales order detail let me check the dependency okay let me view the dependencies Sales order details. See this sales order details. 
which I have um, product ID here. Okay, okay. This is a foreign key. This is a foreign key. Why this is the um, this is the primary key. So this is where I can let me check my dependency in this. Let me go to products, product sales, products sales lt products yeah this let me check the dependencies you can see this dependency now you can see this product id is depending on this so, so this is a this one is what is a foreign key why this is the the primary key because you can see you can see the dependency this is the product this table is depending on this i hope you understand that so that's how to do that's how to create our um entity relationship diagram in um, ssms i hope this is a to us and it allows us to know how our tables has been connected together and the relationship between them so thank you very much then in my next video i'm going to create this particular um, relationship or this entity diagram with mdraw.io so thank you very much god bless